Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to create custom buttons. Now in the simulator here, I have a load of buttons here and they all got different looks so they're all customised. We have our standard round rec button, our two info buttons, our add contact and detail button, also a custom button of an image and a button that when you click it, it changes image or the colour of the bottom of the text. So I'll be showing you how to make this today and already I have my project set up. It's a simple view based application for the iPhone and I've simply named it custom buttons for the purpose of this tutorial. Now there is no coding involved whatsoever, it's just simply editing the options of the buttons in your interface builder. So all you do is simply go to your viewcontroller.xib and when we have our view here, just bring up all our objects and just at the bottom here, simply drag in a few round red buttons and I'll make it a little bit like the demonstration in the simulator so we have a standard round red button we drag in another one and this one will change it, so up here if you just look in the type you can change it to add contact and if you notice down here it's simply changed to a nice round plus symbol. So if I copy that and paste it, and then go to dark info, that is your simple dark info button, which gives it a nice, you'll see this in most applications as well, where it gives you like a quick information about the application. Or the most common info button you'll see is the light info. Let's put that there. And then if you paste a fourth on him. And then change it from info to detailed disclosure. Got a detailed button there. These are the common button type, or well, the ones that Xcode provides for you. So if you wanted to have a customized one like the image one I was showing you, just so simply drag your button in again. Now make it a little bit bigger. And what we simply do is in our type again up here, we change it from round rect to custom. Now you notice that it has gone blank, and how we add an image in is on the desktop here, I have three images. Simply get the images that you would like and simply drag them into your project. Make sure it's clicked here, copied items to destinations group folder. And then once it's in, Simply click back on our button here and simply in image we type in the name of our image which in my case is lemon.png Now if you're using a PNG image you can give it a transparent background just like in this demonstration here so then when you come into overlay see like the button's gone over the button the background is transparent or if you're using a JPEG unfortunately you can't do transparency on that so if you want to do a trans like a an object like this, best use PNG, it gives you a transparent background and it doesn't become a really boring square button. So that's all good enough. Now I'm going to show you how to change a um, image of a button once you select it. So I've just put back there and I paste it. Stick it down here and make it a little bit wider because my next image is a little bit wide. So again, in our image up here, we change the name of it, which in my case is lemon1.png. You know, this is the same logo again, but with geeklemon.com at the bottom. If I zoom out, what I'm going to do is when you click on the button or when you're holding it so it's highlighted, the image is going to change from this image to this one. The only difference is it's going to have different color text at the bottom. So, what you do is click back on the button that's going to change and we got state configuration here change it to highlighted so when the button is highlighted it's going to change to lemon 2.png so then once you've done that you can save that now zoom out now now you'll have no errors or no problems here as the code as there's no code whatsoever I 
Okay then, so now we've got it loaded with our standard round rate button at the top. With our add contact button. With our dark info and light info, and as you notice know, it gives off a nice flash effect around it. And our detailed disclosure button. We have our simple image button, which like I said before, it's best with a transparent background, so it's not a standard rectangle or block like the round rec button. And then we got our button at the bottom, so when I click and hold it, the image changes to our second image. Like I said before, the text changes at the bottom, so there's not much difference there, but that's how you simply change it. So it's a nice little feature that you can add to your applications, and having custom buttons can really give the application its own look and own feel for the user. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in the next tutorial. Make sure you favourite and like the video so you have it for a future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback and follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below, as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out, and most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe.